tutorial on how to play all these years by Camillo Cabello. We are in standard tuning. We have a capo on our second fret. We're going to start out by going over the chords here. If you already know the chords, you can go ahead and skip ahead. We have an E minor. We have a B minor. We have an A chord, a G chord, and a D chord. So again, if you know how to play those chords, go ahead and skip ahead. If you don't, I'm going to go ahead and teach them right now. For a D chord, we're going to have our index finger on the second fret of the G string. Middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the high E. So that's the third string up. Here is your G string. And your <coughs> lowest string down here is your high E. Your ring finger is going to be on the third fret of the B, which is in between those two strings. And we are going to play the four strings down on the D chord. So we also have an A chord. On that A chord, you're gonna have your middle finger on the second fret of the D, ring finger on the second fret of the G, pinky second fret of the B, so they're all sandwiched in here on the second fret. And it's the third string down, fourth string down, and fifth string down relative to this string. We're gonna play all five of those strings. For a G chord, we're gonna have our ring finger on the third fret of the high E, Middle finger is going to be on the third fret of the low E. So these are the top and bottom strings. Index finger is going to be on the second fret of the A. And then you can play all six strings. For an E minor, your middle finger is going to be on the second fret of the A. And your ring finger is going to get tucked right under on the second fret of the D. And you have the ability to play all six strings there. <clears throat> and finally, we have a B minor chord which is a little bit more advanced if you don't know how to do bar chords, but I'm gonna teach you real quick how to play the bar chord, and then if you're a beginner, we'll look at the easy way. So you can bar your second fret from the fifth string down, put your middle finger on the third fret of the B string, ring finger on the fourth fret of the D, pinky on the fourth fret of the G, and play those five strings. If you're a beginner, go ahead and don't bar it. Keep your A minor shape over here, so those fingers are gonna stay in the exact same positions. But now your ring finger is going to be on the second fret, sorry, not your ring finger, your index finger is going to be on the second fret of the A. <clears throat> be careful not to play that high E, just play those four strings. Okay, so those are the chords, now let's talk about the progression. So the progression in the verse goes like this. So that's E minor and I'm picking the E, the G, and the B on that chord. You can also pick the A string, the G, and the B, or you can strum it. <clears throat> then we're gonna switch to our A chord, and then quickly to our B minor. Let it ring for a second. Switch to our D chord. Quickly switch back to our E minor. Let it ring. A, B minor. Let it ring. D, E minor. Let it ring. A, B minor. D, E minor. A, B minor. D, E minor. A, B minor. And that's how the verse <coughs> goes. So the verse actually ends on a B minor. And then we're going to transition into this new progression that sounds like this for the chorus. And it's almost exactly the same, except for now, instead of playing an E minor, we're playing a G. So G, A, B minor, D, G, A, B minor, D, G, A, B minor. D, G, A, B minor. And that's all there is to it. So you can strum those, you can pick them, whatever works. Um, the rhythm's the hard part, so I'm gonna go ahead and play through it. We'll play through the verse here and the chorus, and then that will be it for this tutorial. So we have our verse. Okay, and then the chorus goes like this. it so that's going to be it for this tutorial if you have questions go ahead and comment below if you'd like to see more tutorials please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching